So what's going on guys? I am out here at Camper Clinic in Rockport, Texas. Beautiful Rockport, Texas. Recovering Rockport, Texas. But you know what? I haven't been out here in a few months and I've noticed they're pretty much back on their feet. You know, you guys are Texas strong and you know, to give you an idea, Camper Clinic was decimated. You guys got hit hard by Hurricane Harvey. How are you guys recovering? We're coming along great. As a matter of fact, this week we're finally finishing up our construction on our new buildings and, and uh, uh, and repairing our old ones. We've got uh, about 90% of our mess cleaned up now. It's a lot of trailers that were blown all over the, the lot here. So um, we've got all of that cleaned up. Uh, we've got a big event going on today. Uh, this is our 35th annual open house. It would have been our 36th, but we lost last year because of the hurricane. So we've got uh, fun food prizes. We've got hundreds of people out here visiting us today. We've got uh, special deals on our RVs and uh, lots of entertainment, live music, um, food and uh, we've got raffles every hour on the hour until three o'clock this afternoon and at three o'clock we've got a grand prize that uh, that you can win worth fifteen hundred dollars so that's very cool so by the time this video shows this event will pretty much be over but for people who want to come out here and get a really solid deal on an RV can you talk about some of the brands that you carry sure. we carry the uh, Villa we've got uh, destination trailers that we carry um, for more like a, uh, a step down from a mobile home that you can move around as often as you like, but uh, it's normally something that you would park somewhere and, and leave it um, for a vacation home or, or anything. Uh, we also carry a Grand Design. We carry the Reflection, the Imagine, um, the Solitude, and the Transcends uh, of the Grand Design product line. We've got uh, the Thor uh, Keystone Montanas. Um, that we also carry, which is one of our top-of-the-line uh, uh, trailers that we carry. Over here, we carry our uh, Freedom Express uh, travel trailers, which are the tongue pull travel trailers. We also represent uh, Forest River. We've got their Hyperlite Hemisphere, the uh, Salem brand of uh, travel trailers, Salem and Salem Cruise Light travel trailers that we carry. I see you also have the momentum from Grand Design and as well. Yes, of course. For big toy, toy haulers. Line, yes, big toy haulers are always fun for people that uh, have motorcycles or four-wheelers or golf carts that they like to take with them whenever they're on the road. So It's awesome. Yeah, you guys have a pretty good assortment. And one of the things I really liked, the message that I heard earlier, was you've pretty much weeded out brands that don't hold up over time, brands that tend to give people more problems. Yes. And you move to models that tend to be more maintenance free just don't have the type of initial issues the rv industry in general is kind of built a reputation for you know where yeah. you go and buy it and you have to do the last 20 percent of fixing it up but yeah you guys are carrying a lot of brands that i that i personally think are really solid brands if you're going to leave the lot with yes them. and that's one of the reasons we carry grand design of course we consider to be our highest quality uh, uh, uh piece of equipment that we sell here mm -hmm. uh, we have very, very seldom do we have any types of problem with them. Of course, uh, Keystone Montana falls in that same line. Uh, they're very good, high quality units. And uh, of course, the Salem's as well. So we, uh, we decided several years ago that we did not want to carry any more types of trailers where we just have continual warranty issues and our customers are unhappy with the units we sell. So Absolutely. that's why we carry these pre premium product lines. Yeah. Now, you guys were hit, again, really hard with Hurricane Harvey a little over a year ago. Um, my family's from Panama City, Florida, and they got re hit really hard with Hurricane Michael. Do you have any words of wisdom or advice for the folks in Panama City, Florida, the Mexico Beach area, and the people that were impacted by Hurricane Michael? Be patient. Take your time. Just do everything you possibly can to help each other. I mean, the only reason we got back up onto our feet is uh, the community. Everybody worked together. Everybody helped. If somebody needed food, if somebody needed shelter, if somebody needed support, uh, help each other. And that's, uh, you know, it come back to us tenfold. Yep. We uh, took care of all of our employees the best we can. We were fortunate enough we didn't lose any employees after the hurricane uh, because we were able to help take care of them. So, you know, take care of your people as best you can. And uh, they'll come back and give that back to you 10 times if you're a business owner. That's some really solid advice. Anyways, I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me out. Thank you for coming out. We appreciate okay. you coming. So right here is kind of the row of fifth wheels. They have their Montana, Montana High Country, as well as Grand Designed, Solitude, Reflection. And on this side, they have their Imagine Series, as well as their new Transcend Series, which is their stick and tin, or essentially a wood frame aluminum siding travel trailer. 
that is actually a really cool product for a couple of reasons. And let me walk over to them so I can show you what they are now. So traditionally, when you look at this type of unit, it's going to have this corrugated aluminum siding over a wooden frame. That's what they call stick and tin. In this specific setup, the way Grand Design has gone with the Transcend series is they've gone to a much more modern and contemporary looking sidewall. Take a look at this. It's still aluminum, but it has a much smoother, sleeker look to it. It doesn't have that corrugated, wavy appearance that you see with most of your aluminum sided travel trailers. It's pretty nice. I mean, honestly, this is probably one of the best looking skins I've seen on this type of coach. Let's take a quick glance inside. So this is a cool floor plan. This is a rear living room floor plan. It has a nice, nice layout. But guys, look at the amount of room you get in here. Just a tremendous amount of floor room. I really like how they've positioned the sofa and the theater seating. It's a very, very nice setup rear living room area. And the kitchen is also very well laid out. This slide right here on the side, which I guess could be defined as a super slide, really opens up the center of this floor plan. And something else that's nice about this unit is you have both a front door and a rear door on this unit. And that's rare because typically on a rear living room unit, you're only gonna have kind of this mid door. So they give you a really good layout with this floor plan. I'm pretty impressed by it. And this is the 26 RLS. Let's take a look at some of the numbers on this unit. So even though this is a relatively short unit, it has a fairly high gross vehicle weight rating, 8,495 pounds. The cargo capacity of this specific coach is 1,745 pounds, and it has twin 4,400 pound axles on it. So this is definitely a travel trailer that I would recommend a three quarter ton or greater truck to tow with. It's beyond that 6,000 pound rating that I usually assign to most half ton trucks. Next, let's walk into this Grand Design Imagine. This is gonna be a fiberglass sided unit on aluminum frame. Again, two entryways. This is a little bit different than most of your coaches like this. Oftentimes, if you have two entries in a unit like this, which is a bunkhouse unit with a bunkhouse in the back, you're generally gonna have the door that goes into the living room and then another door that comes out of the bathroom. Let's look at what's unique about this floor plan. First of all, walking up the front entrance, it takes you right into the master bedroom. And then from the master bedroom, you go into a very, very large bathroom area. This again is different than most bunkhouse model travel trailers where they put the bathroom kind of in the back corner near the bunkhouse. But you have a huge shower stall. This thing is enormous. And mainly because it's also deep and wide versus just being, you know, this wide shower that doesn't go in too deep. You have a lot of room with this shower. Going into the living room area, this is also very well laid out. They put the kitchen right up here at the front. Your theater seating looks directly at the TV. If you're sitting on the dinette wraparound area right here, you can also look at the TV. A lot of storage, but check out this bunkhouse in the back. It has a very, very nice bunkhouse. You can easily sleep an additional four guests or even more back here. You have this interesting bunkhouse situation here. You have this shelving, which can also double as a step to get up into this very large bunk area up top. And you also have a fold up bunk here, folds up like this, if you wanna use the sofa. And the sofa also folds into a bed. So that's very cool. And here's your exit. Guys, this is just a very, very well thought out floor plan for a travel trailer. Oftentimes you don't get this type of setup in a travel trailer and you kind of have to sacrifice for what most of the industry has essentially replicated. They usually have the living room, kitchen, stuff right here. The kitchen dinette area is usually on this side, the sofa's on this side, the kitchen's in the same place, which means if you're talking to anybody, you're looking side to side. You're not usually looking at the TV because the TV is usually up here and the bunkhouse doesn't have that much room or look at this massive sliding door that gives you this huge entryway into it. This is just a really cool floor plan. Definitely one that I think people who are getting into RVing with a big family would want to take advantage of. Let's take a look at the numbers on this coach. So this RV has a gross vehicle weight rating of 9,495 pounds, has a cargo capacity of 1,357 pounds and it has 4,400 pound axles on it. And for those wanting to know, this is the 3170BH, stands for bunkhouse. This coach is about 36 feet long. Nice exterior kitchen. Do wish it had a sink. Not mandatory, but it'd be nice to have. All LED lighting on the back, very nice. And it is pre-wired for a backup camera. So while I was walking around, 
Camper Clinic and looking at their extraordinary selection of Solitude fifth wheels, I ran into some YouTubers. I got Corey and Denise, and what's the name of your channel? We're from Does Size Matter. Does Size Matter. They give me a card here, which probably has some information on it. So what do you guys do? Well, our channel uh, has a lot of different RV reviews, and we look at them from our perspective and what works for us. Uh, can we haul this rig? Can, does this rig suit us? I mean, obviously, the mm -hmm. uh, cabinetry up there is not going to get used a whole lot by us. <laughs> <laughs> for long-term storage. That's right. right. Yeah. So that, that's where the old sleeping bag's got to go. <laughs> so do you currently have an RV? We, we do. do, yeah. Really? What do you got? We've got a Class A Beaver Patriot Thunder. Okay, so you're you're... Doing diesel pusher or gas? Yeah, diesel. Diesel? Yeah. Well, good deal. So you're looking to move to a fifth wheel at some point, or you think you're, no, you're happy with the just, Class A? Um, we're happy with our Class A, and it works for us in the kind of travel that we do in that we are on the road a lot. We yes. don't stay anywhere longer than a week or so, but we know uh, a lot of people out there are looking for fifth wheels, yeah. and this is a really great model, so we try to do uh, RV reviews and all sorts of things. Well, that's awesome. Well, guys, check out their channel. Um, you guys are growing your YouTube channel, so yeah. that's awesome. How long have you been doing this for so far? Oh, uh, since about June. Yeah. June, okay. Well, it was so, the first time we published was June. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's awesome. So yeah. you guys, you know, just keep it up. Keep viewing them, giving your honest opinion on what you feel about them. That's mm -hmm. really, I think, what most people want is they want honest feedback. Yeah. And, you know, you're, you'll get there. I appreciate you guys coming on camera, and good luck to yourselves. Yeah, yes. great. Thank you. And finally, here is another really compact Grand Design travel trailer. This one has, I guess what I'm going to try to say is very similar to what they're trying to accomplish with Airstream, where the dinette area has all these windows that surround it. This can turn into a bed. It's got a bed area up front. It's got a really nice little kitchen layout. There are no slides on this unit, but it's a very compact trailer for people who might want to take one out on the weekend. It's got a good size bathroom and shower stall. Man, the showers in these things are really, really nice, considering the size of these trailers. And then on this side, it's got a Murphy bed. So the bed drops down and turns into a queen size bed. TV right here has a TV connection in the front. This is a cool, cool little floor plan. This is the Imagine 19 RLE. Very cool. Guys, I think what I'm going to try to do is hunt down a dealer rep from Grand Design and learn a little bit more about their process and their product and just kind of inform you guys on kind of the direction they take when they build and design a unit. Because from what I've seen, they're a little bit different than what you might normally see on RV lots. And I'd like to learn more about that. So I'm going to have to break this up into more than one video simply because I don't want to lack any good information or content while I'm out here and I want to give you guys as much coverage as possible. So next video, we'll be talking to somebody from Grand Design, hopefully. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.